Hey, what's up everyone? I'm on the way to work and um, been thinking about the Terra Luna situation a lot lately since um, they had their de-pegging of UST Terra and which caused the Luna price to completely crash to zero and uh, you know I was I was personally thinking about getting into the Terra ecosystem I downloaded Terra station I was gonna start putting money into UST like a savings account and using anchor protocol and I was talking it up with my wife and <laughs> And since tell her, oh, you know, 19% APY, you know, it's, it's, it's great. Like that's, you know, such a good opportunity and there's so much money into it. And which is true, there's a lot, a lot of people were, were using UST. And now that this has happened and UST depegged, it's now sitting at 17 cents and a lot of people have lost money. So with that, Doquan is the, uh, is the, is the creator, co-creator of this, um, this Terra Labs and this whole ecosystem. And with this ecosystem, Terra, the stable coin, is supposed to be stable, it's supposed to be algorithmically pegged to a dollar, and then somehow there's some exchange one-to-ones that are supposed to be, um, uh, backed by by Luna and Terra like if you have one Terra you should be able to exchange it for um, at least one Luna and um, I'm not too familiar with like the white paper or how you know when a, when a crypto has you know a, a crypto project should have a white paper which explains kind of their tokenomics and what they're what they're how they run their their blockchain or how they are going to basically you know use the project and how it's going to be ran from you know from its existence so I'm not too familiar with it and honestly I don't think a lot of people are a lot of people are not really familiar with a lot of the white papers of uh, things that they're buying they just see oh it's going up it's pumping that's ma mainly a lot of what market sentiment comes from is just um, is is hype speculation news and and buying and selling the news basically so that's probably I, I personally think that that is a good 60 percent 70 percent of what the market moves from is that and then the rest is you know calculated timed moves that people who are in the inside know and this is what we're going to get to. So a lot of people are thinking that, you know, this was a manipulated external attack from people who uh, wanted to bring the blockchain down and also make a lot of money because with uh, Terra, with Luna going down to zero, there were so many shorts put in and people who, you know, probably knew that this was going to happen made a lot of money. So with that being said, the proposal by Do Kwan is to fork the blockchain and to create two separate blockchains, making Luna, the current existing one, being Luna Classic, and then making a new Luna 2.0 that basically abandons the existing Terra stablecoin. That it was proposed and the community like denied it. They were like, no. We need to put a burning mechanism. So a burning mechanism has been implemented into a lot of different uh, crypto projects. One being Ethereum. Ethereum uh, moved to a proof of stake model from a proof of work, which proof of work is mining. You're basically um, using, you know, computers and, you know, um, to solve a problem solve a block and then you get rewarded for it and that's the mining but with proof of stake the the transactions are validated by the by basically the holders and how and the value is calculated by by that by basically not having to mine 
and so with with the proof of stake consensus model you can also implement a burning mechanism which basically is just burning the supply to reduce the circulation so it doesn't get inflated so what happened is when Luna was crashing they printed digital digital Luna and printed um, a crazy amount and put it into the supply to basically I think buy back and it didn't work so now I think the community is right in saying that they should implement a burning mechanism because usually when that happens it can reduce the supply and then that in turn can help bring the price back up it might help stabilize Terra and then all of the people that have lost all of this money might in hopes be able to actually get it back and if tether ends up but it, it's just a it's a lot to to go to go through and i've been, just been thinking about there's so many people that lost money how are they going to send or how are they going to send all this Terra or this Luna or reimburse the people that have lost all this money due to this and will they be able to is it something that it's like hey you know it wasn't insure, insured or was or if you were on a certain exchange if it is FDIC insured or my phone is falling if it is FDIC, FDIC insured then um can't, how much can can you get back? And has anyone ever been able to get their money back if they lost it in that type of way? So I mean, you know, I'm new to crypto. I've only been, you know, personally like heavy into crypto uh, since uh, the beginning of uh, uh, 2021. So you guys that have been in the market for a long time let me let me know give me give me some info i'd love to know like what projects have done similar things like terra luna and um have you seen them recover and which ones just did not recover i'm curious um yeah so for the proposal with doquan i'm just curious if they'll be able to execute and if they end up forking the blockchain what is that what does that mean for the original original holders? I think what they were proposing is that they'll issue, you know, a certain amount of this new Luna to the old holders. And if you were an old holder uh, before the crash, then you would get a certain amount. But I don't know. That just seems like a lot of work. I think to me, it makes sense to keep Luna strong right now try to get back the trust because that's the most important thing the trust has been completely lost so can they gain back the trust of the community if they listen to the community then i think they they have a chance uh yep all right well that's the end of my car ramble <laughs> hope you guys have a wonderful day peace